Okay, now in the background there on the other side of the hill is the combination mine. Uh, it goes down 3,300 feet. Um, the idea of that mine was it was to check the very lower ore bodies of the Comstock load uh, to find out how deep the load actually went. Well, unfortunately, of course, after 3,300 feet, they didn't find any more ore and pretty much sealed the fate of Virginia City. Um, that's why that particular mine is very important because it was a last ditch attempt to find out how deep the load went. Uh, unfortunately, it panned out in the late 1880s and the town started to die after that. So anyway, let's venture forward and see what else we can see. Okay, so we're in Virginia City. We're getting ready to shoot a parade. Everybody and their uncles out here today. Fantastic day to do this. Uh, we've got a parade that's coming down Main Street right now, so we're gonna catch that on film too, and hopefully you enjoy that. And then later on, we're gonna cruise all the shops up and down Main Street here, and uh, give you a taste of what Virginia City is like when everybody and their uncle comes out to play. So, here we go. Okay, we're at the infamous Washoe Club. We're gonna go upstairs and take a look at the museum real quick. This thing has been here and it is one of the longest uh, running facilities, buildings, bars in Virginia City. So let's go on up and take a look at the uh, museum upstairs.
Okay, so we've walked around town. I've shown you a few sites. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in to the back of the Silver Queen Hotel. Beautiful hotel, three stories tall. It's got some really interesting features I want you to take a look at. So come on, let's go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up the staircase. We're going to go up there and take a look around. So let's go. All right, here's a stairwell that goes up there. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what's been seen here, but this is an interesting part of the hotel. So we'll go up and take a look because you never know what you're going to find. Okay. We're on the second floor or third floor of the Silver Queen Hotel. And they've got these interesting skylights in the middle of the floor. Of course, they've got wrought iron to keep you from falling through. Now, in the old days, they didn't have this wrought iron here in the middle. Um, they just had this railing here, so it was easy to fall down through the center. But uh, later, they put this here to keep people from accidentally stumbling and falling to their death. Real interesting hotel. It's got a beautiful view out on the front see if we can take a look at it.
Okay, so we're down here in the uh, close to the old uh, railroad station down here, the original one. But not far from there is this building here, which houses number 18. Fantastic uh, restoration of a 440. Remember what I told you? Four wheels in the front, four wheels in the middle, driver wheels, nothing in the back, 440. Anyway, it's been perfectly restored. And they have another one just like this that actually runs up and down the line uh, that gets close to Carson City and you can take rides on it today. Now, I don't know if they're going to be running that one today because uh, we saw the diesel, but we didn't see the steamer running because uh, I think they're doing that for the trips all the way into Carson. But we're going to go down and take a look, but I just wanted you to see this one. It's in fantastic shape. It almost looks like you could fire it up and run it down the track. So I wanted you to see this. It's one of the best observed uh, trains here, except for the one in Carson City, which is the sister of this one. And uh, we'll see if they're going to fire the one up down in the yard. And if they are, we're going to go for a ride. So here we go. Okay, we're standing in front of Robert Clay, number 29. I know it's kind of hard to hear me. You got the big compressor running right here. You can see the wheel configuration. It's a 280. You see the steam compressor right there? This is the one that's going to be running into Virginia, or actually it's Carson City, I should say, versus Virginia City. Anyway, um, this is one of the originals. That they restored and they run it back and forth on the Virginia trucking line. And it's got another one down in the yard just like it. So we'll try to get it on film it for you so you can see it running. Here we go. Good job, Mario. You the man. Wow. There you go, Mario. Okay, so we're out here on the outskirts of Virginia City and you're probably trying to figure out what we're doing out here. But in the background here, if you look carefully, you might be able to see these huge concrete foundations. Now it took me a while to find it, but these are the original foundations and behind it is the shaft, or the, used to be the shaft, of the great CNC mine. Now they pulled out millions of dollars worth of gold and silver out of here. And the only thing left here now is these huge foundations. So. I'm going to run the camera around here and show you some of these things uh, because there's not much of it left from when it was a mighty producer and it's the only thing that you can find today when you're in Virginia City so let's go.
Okay, we're in the midst of the hoisting works. Uh, the original pump engines, or I should say hoisting uh, gears set right here. Uh, I want you to get a, an idea of how big the machinery was at the CNC shaft. Here's one of the bolts that was holding the uh, hoisting works uh, in place on top of these foundations. It's about maybe, what, two and a half, three inches in diameter. And all of the bolts around here are in that size uh, diameter. The thing was huge. And all the uh, foundations around here have bolts of the similar size. But um, the, C one of the CNC shaft was one of the most uh, famous. And of course, you can see just by looking around here that these foundations are huge. And, uh, but unfortunately, the only thing left here is this. And come here, take a look at this. This is the old CNC shaft right behind me. It goes down maybe about 100 feet. It looks like a giant impact crater. Anyway, that's the only thing left of the CNC shaft to this day. It goes down 3,500 feet, pretty deep. And they pulled a lot of gold bullion out of here. So anyway, I just wanted you to see this. So we're gonna venture back to Carson City. So here we go.